Hello everybody at Noxon Road Elementary School. My name is Jesse Saperstein. I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite books, Different Like Me, My Book of Autism Heroes by Jennifer Elder, illustrated by Mark Thomas and Jennifer Elder. The reason I love this book so much is because it's about some very famous people. Albert Einstein, Andy Warhol, he was a very famous artist. He painted pictures of things like Campbell tomato soup cans, and it was original and awesome, just like him. Benjamin Banneker, a famous comedian named Andy Kaufman. This goes to show you that being different can be also just amazing. It's not weird, it's not stupid, and it does not make you a loser. I repeat, it does not make you a loser. It makes you wonderful. Nothing is ever going to be perfect, especially when dealing with other people who may not understand or accept you. But at the same time, you have to look at yourself in the mirror and understand you have something amazing to offer. And your so-called disability is actually a form of rocket fuel, and I call it autism awesomeness. Even though I'd love to read this whole book for you, it's kind of long, so I'm gonna to read to you another book called Anthony Best, written by, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Davin Fahey, illustrated by Carol Inouye. I apologize to these authors in advance for butchering their names. My next door friend is Anthony. If you ask Anthony his name, he always says, My name is Anthony Best, and I am the best boy. But do you want to know a secret? He's not always the best boy. Sometimes he screams, but that's usually when noises are very loud. Anthony hates loud sounds. Uh, we have a big truck in the distance, and as you can see, he's really upset. Or when someone calls him Tony, Anthony doesn't like changes. And that means you better always call him Anthony or be ready to hear a scream. I can sort of relate to that part. I feel like screaming when people misspell my first name, Jesse, as J-E-S-S-I-E -S -S -E instead of J-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. It drives me crazy. So Anthony and I have that in common. Anthony understands me, but he doesn't look at me when I talk to him. But when I get him to look at me, cause they look right at him and say, hey Anthony, look at me. And he does, sometimes. And sometimes Anthony will do weird things, like one time he started to cross our street without even looking for cars. That's, but that's because Anthony doesn't understand that it's dangerous. Well, it's good that not many cars come down our street so his mom can always get him. Anthony likes to play by himself, but I like to play with Anthony. Sometimes when he's in a spinning mood, I'll spin too. And when he's in a flipping mood, I'll flip my pages too. That makes Anthony happy, and I know he's happy when he flaps his hands. Once, when Tommy and I were playing in the sandbox, Anthony threw sand at me and Tommy said that was bad and he wasn't 
going to play with Anthony anymore. But I said that was Anthony's way of playing with us, and I showed Anthony how I put sand in a bucket. The other day, Tommy came over and said, Did you hear this knock-knock joke? Knock-knock. Who's there? I said. Boo. Boo-hoo, I said. And Tommy said, Don't cry. It's only a joke. And we both laughed and laughed. But Anthony didn't laugh. He didn't see that was funny. He just said, I'm a friendly honeybee, and I'm going to be your friendly. Last week, this big, huge truck came to Anthony's house. And guess what was in it? A piano. I didn't think those mover guys were ever going to get that piano into Anthony's house. But they did after they took the door off. The next day, I heard this great music coming from Anthony's house. I knocked on the door and Mrs. Best answered. I didn't understand what was going on. I said, I heard this beautiful music. I thought you were playing the piano. Mrs. Best said, come in Hannah. And there was Anthony sitting at that big black piano and playing a song I never heard before. Wow, I can't do that, and Tommy can't either. So you know, when it comes to music, Anthony really is the best boy. And uh, this page if you want to take a look at it, it has some information about autism spectrum disorders. Uh, you can uh, pause the video and take a look. It's really interesting. And here is some information about the author and illustrator. Thank you again for listening to the reading of this book. And I'm going to say goodbye to all of you. I hope everyone is doing well staying safe, and enjoying their hobbies, as well as their special interests. The point of this book and my talk with all of you is to remind you that whether it's somebody in a picture book like Anthony Best or yourselves, everybody has something incredible to offer. And hopefully there's going to be enough people to give you a chance. But as Dr. Seuss said in a, a old book called Oh, the places you'll go. If not everyone accepts you, that's perfectly okay because those who mind do not matter. Those who matter do not mind. Think about it and understand what that means. Have a great day, everybody.